Greetings, comrades, and welcome to another episode of Crisis in the Kremlin. I looked around the map a little bit, and what I saw is that we can do a couple of things. First of which is going to be uh, supporting the Loyalists in the Republic of China by doing the Pact of Friendship, and then... Uh, what? Let's see, PRC dissolved, or USA have fallen, Friendship Pact relations over 70, KGB power over 80, and reserve over 400. Is our KGB power not too high? Huh. Um, I guess we'll have to actually pour some money over there, because from what I know, I think that the China being... Uh, even just gray there is actually very bad for us. And because I was reading some stuff, and yeah, apparently that does increase uh, the USA's economy by a lot. So we're just gonna have to hope that we can support the loyalists in there soon enough. Uh, to that point, we are going to spend a lot of money on the KGB. Uh, we don't really have to worry about corruption because it's rather low. The reorganization of Kharkov. Not so long ago, the Maastricht Tree has been signed. That event put an idea to one of member of the parties had to create a new reunion. Like Commonwealth with the uni Unified Rural Zone. The local will improve that as the reorganization will require our money. Um, you know what, actually? Sure. Today's negotiations took place in Moscow about the reconstruction of the Comic-Con, which established universal currency and a shared economic territory. Countries of Eastern Europe organized protests against strengthening of the USSR. So, that sucks, I guess? Uh, it took our money, and I guess it said Eastern USSR didn't even like it. I don't understand why, exactly. Like, why why weren't they uh, too happy with that, with having the uh, Euro Union with the Soviet Union? And does it actually do anything at all with helping us? KGB power actually went down just now. Huh. That's strange. Letter from Washington. Comrade, Americans are offering us to sign the agreements. According to it, they will stop the SDI program in exchange for reductions of our nuclear armaments. Ah, uh, sure. Because we can't exactly reject it. The negotiations took place between the USA and the USSR, during which the USSR reduced the number of strategic offensive arms and the USA canceled the SDI program. This and education went down. Um, apparently light industry is going down a little bit. You say economy just increased by a whole lot. That's not good. KGB increased again, but now it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's make sure that on the Council of Ministers. We have friendship with China, yeah. So that should slowly increase our relations with them. If I remember correctly. So let's hope we can do that pretty soon. Oh, there's a new level of threat. I guess we're gonna do the detente. That's never too good. Because our political power is in the garbage can now. Which means that we can't even extract money. But uh, we'll take down some social spending for just a little bit. The curls. After a little calm period, 
Japanese government continues to demand us to transfer the curls under their jurisdiction. You know one thing, the Japanese refused to honest carve up the archipelago in Khrushchev's days and now also won't go to such palliatives. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna reject it. The government of the USSR again refused it. Uh, China's almost at 70, so that's very nice. Let's go ahead and put some money back into social spending. See if we can't get more money from our allies down here. And then soon, from the look of things, China will be ours. Or at least, not, not ours, but uh, in our sphere of influence. There we go. Can I do it? Something went wrong. Apparently KGB is at 9 right now. Um, the loyalty of the KGB is at 100 right now. We have over 400 reserves, yeah. So why can't we do this? Because the People's Republic of China did dissolve. I don't understand. Oh, it has to be greater than 70, I think, so... Even just 70 doesn't matter. 72 now, though. Can we do it? Yes! Okay. China Soviet. It's a republic. It's a people's democracy. Do we still have money? Or no, that, that took a large chunk. But we can always get it back, because money is not that much of an issue for us at this point. And so although OGAS is hopefully going to happen, I'm going to definitely be doing my best to just uh, keep things going well for us. Like as best I can with the least amount of effort. Um, let's see, we can do a detente. Yeah, I think if we do that... No, we don't have... We do have the friendship pack, so we can't actually do that. Um, we can invite them in the Coco if we have over eight relations. Um, yeah. Should be good. Get social spending back to 300 and see if corruption this has it arised a little bit. I'm going to assume that's because of KGB. So we'll actually take the money back off of that. We'll keep a little bit on, I think. But otherwise, we'll increase state mechanism and just sort of see what happens. Everything's quiet. Everything's quiet. We got some money. Put more in the state mechanism, I guess. And now I think we're going to give civil aid and military aid to Syria to fight them. Uh, send weapons and see if we can pass by. Oh, we did. Uh, well, then. Maybe we shouldn't have uh, done the pacification. But we're going to do this and that. And he is leading. Laos, we're going to give military and civil aid as well. Invite them. And I think that helps us a bit. 
That would also cost us a lot of money. <sighs> but in the long run is for the best because uh ooh. Something went wrong. Oh, it's because the satisfaction was so high? Yeah, that explains it. Still negative 50. <sighs> but now we have all of that. Mostly taken care of. Gonna be in a better position going forward. Uh, yes, the economy is going down, so is the contentment. The army power has gone up a little bit, but hopefully it'll be a slow decline. Military power just went down by quite a bit because we just did so much military aid. Not too good. Corruption is also increasing a fair bit. And that's not good at all. But it's not awful, I don't think. Let's go ahead and put 150 into all these because we want medicine to be in tip top shape. Preferably maxed. Uh, education is going up for some reason. I don't know why, but I could put a little bit actually from civil technology. Just put some into education. And that should be good. And so it seems like right now we're in a bit of a slow time, not really getting any events. And that's kind of the problem with this game, is that uh, the events are the more interesting things, I would say. And they really don't change based on your actions too much, at least. And he's leading. Ooh, NATO base incident. Uh, terrible news. Three NATO soldiers are accused of rape of 12-year-old girl in Okinawa, Japan. Incident led to mass protests against American military presence in Japan. Ah, uh, we'll use the KGB and FIS, sure. During the unrest, Japanese government parliament retired. Elections were won by left pacifistic opposition. Some of the Japanese refused from Kuril's own army and NATO bases, declared peaceful neutrality. Peace treaty between Japan and the USSR was finally signed. And so, now we are at uh, them being neutral, which is good. Sadly, it means that we, once again, have a lot of money problems. But, uh, not really too much of a problem at this point. And that's a very good thing. Because, uh... I don't want to overextend our resources, if for no other reason than because I don't like clicking over and over, and I have to assume that uh, nobody does. But if we can get closer to a victory here, then it's certainly worth it. Uh, stats are same, but hopefully been going down, I just didn't notice. In 1993, commissioned from FBI and CIA, which was searching for the mole in the serve special services, finished its work and made a conclusion that foreign agents infiltrated CIA. The commission found out that after a work trip in Rome, the CIA agent Aldrich Ames bought a house in Washington for $530,000 in cash, registered a farm and two apartments for his wife, bought a Jaguar car, luxury items for $45,000. Four hundred fifty-five thousand dollars and shares for a hundred forty thousand dollars. 
Why are we giving so much money to this person? Like the luxury items thing, I don't understand too much. I guess it's what you have to do, but... I mean, I can understand a little bit of it. Buying a house, some farms and apartments. Good for spying. Uh, if you have shares in companies, you can kind of keep track of what they're doing. You know what, whatever, we'll just save our agent. Thanks to the fast reaction, Alder Games was granted a political asylum in the USSR, becoming one of the most important American refugees. So, money went up. By a lot. That's always good. So, I think that's where we're gonna cut it here. I'll put some more money into fighting against corruption, but... Hopefully that isn't like too much over and that it actually increases corruption. Uh, army power and citizen contentment went down, so that's very nice. And yeah, hopefully things will go well for us. And I will see you guys in the next episode.